Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about the uploading process on Zazzle and how it differs from other print-on-demand platforms. So with Zazzle, you have to publish every single product individually. There's no uploading one design and putting it on hundreds of products all at once. Whereas with platforms like Spoonflower, Society6, and Redbubble, you upload your design and it goes on all of the items, all the products that they offer. And Zazzle isn't like that. And it's like kind of frustrating because it takes a lot more time and effort on our part, but it's actually a little bit better. And I'm going to give you a few reasons why. But before I go into the reasons why it's actually a positive thing, let's talk a little bit about why Zazzle chooses to do this. So because of the nature of Zazzle with customization, and being so big into like the wedding niche and parties and small business, it isn't really suited to allow people to upload a single design to tons of products. And there's a few reasons for this. One of the big reasons is Zazzle has its own built-in design tool, which if you don't know how to use that, I'll have a tutorial linked up above here somewhere but their, their design tool is pretty robust, especially in comparison to other platforms that don't even have a design tool. It's basically like a mini Canva, or I mean, it's not even close to as powerful as like Illustrator or Photoshop, but I would compare it to like a, a lesser Canva as it's pretty beginner friendly that you can't do too, too much, but there is like, you can add text, you can add shapes, you can add images, you can layer items. So there's lots of possibility there. So with the design tool, Zazzle wants you to go into every single product and tweak that design a little bit and make it fit that product perfectly. And then another thing is that with so many products on Zazzle, every product has like kind of a different design shape. So for example, like a button is going to be round, a card is going to be a square or rectangle, whereas they have like ping pong paddles that are like kind of a, I don't even know what shape that would be, <laughs> circular, but then like gets smaller at the bottom or something like a golf club cover, golf club head cover. I have no idea how, what that product is actually called, but you know what I'm talking about, the covers that you put on your golf clubs. Those are also a similar shape. They're kind of like bulging at the top and then they like come down. But if you were to put a design, like a t-shirt design onto a golf club cover, that wouldn't look good and it wouldn't look good in the marketplace. So it wouldn't look good for Zazzle and it doesn't look good for your shop. Another big reason that it doesn't really make sense to have the feature to upload to a bunch of products at once is Zazzle's customization options. So with Zazzle, customers have the ability to customize their products with custom text and images. And so as a designer, we need to place those texts or images properly for every single product type. And similar to what I just said with the different shapes and things like that, if you had, for example, like a pillow with a photo collage, so it has like six slots for photos, if you were to transfer that design onto a different product that has a really different shape, you'd need to replace those image templates. So it really doesn't, yeah, it just like doesn't make sense. Again, it's just, it would cause products to look out of place because their designs aren't meant for that product type. And then one other thing to add to that is you could actually argue, not in the case of Spoonflower, but Redbubble and Society6, you could argue that you're not actually meant to just upload one design and have it go on all the products. Because think about when you go into Redbubble, for example, and you upload a design, and then you have the list of products, but you can go in and edit and upload a new image for that specific product type. So, and they, all the products have different like ideal dimensions for your design. So Redbubble even actually wants you to go in and be uploading individual design files for each of their product types. And same with Society6. I find it even more so with Society6 because a lot of times if you don't upload a design, a file, a design file that's big enough, it won't even fit on like half of the products. So, and then the dim dimensions on Society6 are all so different that you end up having to have like multiple file sizes in order to get on all or even most of the products. 
I'm curious if you guys have found that too. I don't love Society6 as much, so I don't spend as much time there, but that's kind of been what my experience has been. And then I guess for me, I started Zazzle before I started any other print-on-demand platform, so it's always been that way and it's always made sense to me. But I know that that's not the case for a lot of you guys, and I get that, like, you think that you're kind of killing more birds with one stone by uploading the design once and having it go on all the products, but do you... It just, like, you want to make sure that all those products look really good with that design anyways. And then Zazzle did actually have a quick create tool for a while. It wasn't really working well when I first started in 2019. I remember some, cause what you would have to do is you would, can't remember exactly cause it was so long ago. I remember you had to create some kind of like template for it and then you would upload your design and you would see, I think you would check off which products you wanted. I don't fully remember at this point, but you would have your list of products and then they would go, once you publish them, they would go into an approval process. The last time I did it, I think my product sat in review for weeks, if not a couple of months. So the the tool was not efficient at all in the end because your designs that like, let's say that you wanted to get a design up for Christmas and it's September, but if it sits in limbo for two months, you're not getting it up till November, you've missed your chance. It's not gonna, it's most likely not gonna make any sales or at least not many. And then for me, I know with the designs that I did get up with Quick Create, I don't think any of them actually ever sold. And that's not to say that has anything to do with the Quick Create. That's more likely because it was four years ago and my designs weren't very good and I did not know what I was doing with titles and tags. But I just think that also my designs weren't catered to each product properly. And so it just kind of didn't really, they didn't convert well. So when it comes to Zazzle, it's pretty clear that with the recent changes that Zazzle's made, especially over the last year or so with the um, like product mockups and now they've introduced video and the new collection types, they don't want you to be like mass producing products in your shop. They really want you to be taking time and putting intention into your shop by really thinking through what products you wanna offer. They don't want you to just offer like everything under the sun. Taking that into consideration, it makes total sense that Zazzle is not going to allow us to mass upload one design to a bunch of products. So what's the workaround here? Well, I have a video that explains how I upload designs quickly and efficiently to multiple products on Zazzle, and I will link that somewhere up here. But I think that there is some things to keep in mind to set your shop up for success here. Knowing that you're not able to upload to a ton of products all at once, you really need to be strategic in picking what products you want to offer in your shop. So I think there's a few things to keep in mind here. Number one is your niche. So what, what products fit well with your niche? Are you in like the sports niche? So it makes sense to offer baseballs or the ping pong paddles or products like that. Or are you in more the wedding or party niche? So you want to offer more stationary type items and like wedding gifts and party favors and things like that? Or are you in just the general gifts niche where maybe phone cases or laptop sleeves or something? I, I don't know, like what niche are you in? And then look at the catalog of products because there are over a thousand products on Zazzle. So pick which ones make sense to put into your shop depending on what your niche is. I think this is a good time to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I'm coming out with tons of Zazzle content and I have a lot of really exciting things coming down the pipeline, so make sure you're subscribed. And then another thing to consider when picking which products you wanna offer is which ones do you actually enjoy creating? So for me, I personally do not enjoy creating wedding and party invitations. It's really not my thing. So I don't really do it. I've dabbled a little bit, like I know how to do it. And I have a few party invitations in one of my shops because I decided to just give it a try and they sell on occasion, but really it's not my forte. I don't like to design it. So I just don't focus on it. And then the third thing to consider is the average commission per sale. If you're making 20 cents on average per sale, that product might not be one that you wanna prioritize in your shop. However, products where you're making, I would say between two and $10 per sale, those are the products that you really wanna focus on because you need to make way less sales 
to hit your income goals, whatever your income goal may be. Now, this might take a little bit of trial and error to figure out which products you like to design, which products fit your niche the best, and which products give you the highest commission. I mean, that part is you can kind of figure it out, but which ones you like to design and which ones fit your niche are going to be a little bit of trial and error. So honestly, if you're brand new, I actually do recommend just kind of designing on everything that you think looks cool because you're going to figure out over time what works for you and what doesn't and what you enjoy and what you don't enjoy. Basically what's worth your time to upload and what's not worth your time to upload. So that's my thoughts on the uploading process on Zazzle. If you want to learn how I upload one design to multiple products as quickly and efficiently as possible, click the video on the screen right now. Otherwise, please give the video a like and be sure to subscribe for more Zazzle tips. Bye.